Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about perimeter, area, and circumference of plane figures. Polygons and circles are examples of plane figures. Polygons have straight edges, whereas circles are round. In this video, we're going to talk about on the circumference of a circle and the area of a circle. The talking about circles. This is a, a very different animal than a polygon because it doesn't have straight sides. But um, originally, the way that we approach the problem of finding the perimeter of a circle, which we don't call perimeter, we call it circumference. The way we approached that problem was to compare it to polygons. We imagined drawing a polygon on the outside of the circle and one on the inside. These are called the circumscribed and inscribed polygons of the circle. We calculated the perimeter of those, and then we knew that the circle had a circumference somewhere in between. And the more sides the polygon had, the more accurate we got the circumference of the circle. Mathematicians who worked on this would literally look at polygons that had 100 sides on them. So it was called the method of exhaustion. Um, and what they noticed is that it approached a certain uh, value as we got it closer and closer to the actual circumference of the circle. And so eventually we figured out that the circumference C of a circle of diameter D is given by the formula C equals pi times diameter. Now remember diameter is twice the length of the radius. So you could also write circumference equals two times pi times R twice the radius times pi is the same as pi times diameter. Notice that when the diameter is equal to 1, if you plug into the top formula, you get that the circumference is equal to the number pi. So Archimedes devised this method of exhaustion around 200 BC, and he used it to determine the value of pi, and he could get pi accurate to as many decimal places as he wanted with no calculator. The area of a circle also involves the value pi, and it's given by area equals pi r squared. Notice that when the radius is 1, the area is pi. Let's practice finding the area and circumference of a circle using the formulas that we just saw. In this case, we're going to look at a circle with a radius that's 6 inches long. Now here's a little tip. When you're working your homework in my math lab, if it tells you to use 3.14 as an approximation for pi, then you need to type into your calculator 3.14. The reason I'm mentioning this is because there's also a pi button on your calculator, which takes pi out to many decimal places, and you'll get a slightly different answer if you use that button instead of 3.14 being typed in. So be careful about that. All right, so let's go ahead and first of all, we're going to find the circumference of the circle. Remember the formula for the circumference is 2 pi r or pi times diameter, but we were given radius. So we're going to use 2 pi r. That would be equal to 2 pi times 6 or 12 pi. And if I asked you just to give me the exact units or sometimes in the my math lab homework, um, instead of asking you for the exact value, they'll just specify leave pi in the answer. In both of those cases, you should not get a decimal form. You should just leave it like this. You would just say 12 pi inches. Okay, but they asked us to use 3.14 as an approximation for pi. So you're gonna multiply 12 times 3.14 on your calculator. And this guy, 37.68 inches is what you get. And this is an approximation. It's not an exact value. A lot of times people get those confused. They think the other one is the approximation. But no, this is actually not the circumference of the circle. It's very close. It's only off by as much as a half of a hundredth of an inch. All right, now let's find the area of the circle. So similarly, area equals pi r squared. So we're gonna plug in six for r. Pi times six squared is 36 pi, but we don't wanna leave pi in our answer only because we were asked not to. We're going to replace that with 3.14, multiply it times 36, and we get 113.04 square inches. Notice the circumference was a linear measurement, so it's just inches, and area is measured in square units, square inches. 
Now here's kind of a brain teaser. So see if you can get this. If you can do this, you can do all of the problems in the homework. Just pause the video and see if you can figure it out. It says if the rate, if the radius of a certain circle is tripled with 8.2 centimeters, then added the result is the circumference of the circle. Find the radius of the circle and use 3.14 as the approximation for pi. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to um, draw ourselves a circle with a circumference C, and it tells us some information about its radius. If the radius of a certain circle is tripled with 8.2 centimeters, then add it. So if we triple the radius and add 8.2, that's what this is telling us right here. Then the result is the circumference of the circle. That's another way of saying that you're going to get the circumference of the circle by doing that. Find the radius. Okay, well, we can't solve this equation to get the radius because there's two variables here. But remember, we know that the circumference is 2 pi times the radius. So we could replace circumference with 2 pi r, what it's equal to, and now we have an equation that only has r in it. Now we don't want to use pi because they told us to use 3.14. So 2 times 3.14 is going to be 6.28. So we have 3r plus 8.2 equals 6.28r. We're going to subtract 3r from both sides. That gives us 8.2 equals 3.28r. And now to get r by itself, we divide both sides by 3.28. And the result is that the radius is equal to 2.5. Now, what do you think the units would be? They're gonna be centimeters, right? Radius is linear units. And so we found the radius of that circle. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That'll help other students to find the video.